Hello students, welcome back. Today we are going to start our third chapter that is geometry. In the previous year we did discuss about lines, then uh, line segment, arrays, etc. These weights and how to draw a line segment. That the things that we learned in the previous year. And this year we need to study about name, define and identify an angle and its parts. Then define different type of angles. Today we are going to deal with name and define or identify angle and its part. We need to know what is an angle, how to form it and define different types of angle. Previous year we were discuss about line, line segment, array. What is a line? What is a line segment? It is a part of a line that the shortest distance between two given points that is a line segment. If we extend it endlessly through each and uh, both sides, then we got a line. Then what is array? Array means it has one end point and we need to draw endlessly through other point. That is array. Line segment means the shortest distance between two given points. That is line segment. And if we extend endlessly through both sides then we get a line then array means uh, if we extend one side next one is array that means uh, it has one, one end point and in other point we extend it if we draw two or more arrays from one point here one point is here we name it as O is one point that is O and if we draw one or two or more arrays from this point we can draw one row we can name it as A O A and next one more here O B. Here you can see we draw two rays frame from one point from O. From O we draw two rays O A and O B. O A and O B. We just named it is the two rays. These are the rays ray A O A and ray O B. Here you can see a small distance, a distance or a gap between these two rays. Here, here this is the gap. This is called an angle. It is called an angle. So today we are going to discuss what is angle, how to form it, what are the specialties types of angles. What is an angle? You can check. Here, first we draw a point, then first we place a point and name it as O. Then we draw two rays from this line, first OA, then OB. Now it make an angle. When we draw two rays from one point, it make an angle. A ray is a part of a line that has one end point and proceed in the other direction infinitely. In geometry, an angle can be defined as the figure formed by two rays meeting at a common end point. Here the common end point is O. An angle represented by the symbol angle. Yeah, this sign that is commonly we say it as less than sign. We use this symbol. This is symbol for an angle and we say it as AOB. Angle AOB. Here the intersecting point is O. So we need to write it in the middle. Or we can say angle BOA. These two are same. If we name it then we can say it as AOB. Angle AOB or BOA. 
this is the given thing. A ray, what is a ray? A ray is a part of a line that has one end point and proceed in the other direction infinitely. Here we can see two rays O A and O B. Then and geometry and angle can be defined as the figure formed by two rays meeting at a common end point. Here the common end point is O. Here these two lines two rays sorry two rays intersecting at a common end point that is O. Here it make an angle and we can name it as angle AOB or angle BOA. Now we are going to discuss about the parts or types of angles. Before that we need to know what are the parts of an angle. Parts of an angle. Here the angle, the, the rays OA and OB that are the that are called arms of the angle. Arms that are rays that are called arms of the angle and the point the intersecting point that is O here we call it as vertex. Once more the rays the two rays are called arms of the angle and the intersecting point is called vertex arms the two rays joined to form an angle are called arms of an angle here OA and OB are the arms. Then vertex the common end point at which the two rays meet to form an angle is called the vertex there these two rays are meeting here in O. So O is the vertex of angle A O B or angle B O A. So in an angle there are some parts are there first one is its arm arm the rays at that is the arm then intersecting point that is the vertex. So here vertex is O and arms are O A and O B. Angle have two arms here O A and O B and the intersecting point that is the vertex. Now types of angle. First one is acute angle. What is acute angle? An angle whose measure is less than 90 degree is called acute angle. Now you can see one word degree. In angle we say the uh, measure that is in degree we say it in degree here you can see it is 60 degree so in angle we say angle is its measurement it is 60 degree or 70 degree we use degree to to recognize this one okay an acute angle an acute angle is means an angle whose measure is less than 90 degree that means if it is 0 to 90 if the given given angle is 0 to 90 then it is 0 to 89 less than 90 means 89 0 to 89 then it is acute angle if the given angle is between 0 to 90 it is from 1 to 89 degree from 1 to 89 degree it's between 0 to 90 or we can say from 1 to 89 degree it is called acute angle if it is one if the given angle is 1 degree or 2 degree or 3 up to 99 it is acute angle here we can say angle m o n is an acute angle because the degree is less than 90 that is 60 degree next one what do happen if the given angle is 90 degree then it is called right angle. The given angle, an angle whose measure is 90 degree, then it is called right angle. Here, angle AOB is the right angle. If the given angle is, given measure is 90 degree, then it is called as, called as right angle. Then what do happen? It is more than 90 degree. That is next angle that is obtuse angle. An angle whose measure is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. It is called an obtuse angle. That means the range 90 to 180 or we can say 91 degree to 179 degree. If the given measures are 91 to 
179 degree then we can call it as obtuse angle if it is 90 degree then it is right angle less than 90 acute comes between 90 and 180 then it is obtuse angle here the angle d o q or q o d that is an obtuse obtuse angle then what happen if it is more than 180 degree before that we need to know about straight angle if the given angle measure is 180 degree then it is called straight angle an angle whose measure is 180 degree it is called a straight angle straight line that is the straight line its degree is 180 degree if you draw a line if we draw a straight line then its degree is 180 degree here x o y is a straight angle a straight angle is equal to two right angles when we draw two right angles here first one 10 here it make 180 degree okay so if the given measure is 180 degree then it is called a straight angle then what about it is more than 180 degree then it is called reflex angle if the given angle whose measure is more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree this comes in 180 degree to 360 degree more than 180 that means 181 to 360 less than 360 that is 359 degree this range is called reflex angle so first we discuss about types of angle first is acute angle acute means uh, less than 90 degree that is acute angle then next one is a right angle if that given measure is 90 degree then it is called as right angle if it is more than 90 but less than 180 then it is obtuse angle then if the given measure is 180 degree then it is called as straight angle and more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree it is called reflex angle then what about 360 degree 360 degree angle 360 degree angle is straight angle 360 means it is straight angle okay 0 180 and 360 are called straight angles that's what I will tell first one it is angle angle means if you draw two rays from one point or two rays intercept at one point then it is called it make an angle and the rays is called arms of the angle and the intersecting point is called vertex parts of the angle first one is arms arms means the rays given rays are the arms and the intersecting point is called vertex then what is an angle in geometry an angle can be defined as the figure formed by two rays meeting at a common end point and we use the symbol less than that is the symbol it is called angle and first angle AOB here angle AOB or we can say angle BOA then we discuss about types of angle first one is acute angle that means less than 90 degree that is acute angle if it is 90 degree then it is right angle more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree it is obtuse angle then it is 180 degree then we call it as straight angle more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree is called reflex angle and your homework question that is let us try 3.1 and let us try 3.2 question number 124 let us try 3.1 full and let us try 3.2 question number 124 we can discuss more about in live class okay see you in the next class thank you